welcome to Build. Uh, I'm your host, Ricky Camilleri, and for four seasons now, my next guest has played the boisterous, overly articulate Duke on Pamela Adlon's beautiful family dramedy, Better Things. Uh, I'm so happy to have sitting next to me right now, Olivia Edward. Hey. Hey. Thanks so much for being here. I'm so excited to be here. Uh, <laughs> congratulations on being a part of one of the best shows on television in Thank forever. Thank you so much. It's so much fun. Yeah. How did it, how did it all start for you? Uh, acting. Getting on better things, working on better things. So first we did a tape. So we uh, got the scripts and we did a fun tape and then we sent it in. And I got a call back, which is another tape. And then I actually got to meet Pamela. And I remember thinking, oh, she's so cool. I want to like hang out with her. And my mom was like, well, if you get it, you will. And it was about two weeks. And I was still like, I really want to hang out with her. She sounds so cool. <laughs> and my mom was like, okay, just don't get your hopes up. Because she, she, didn't, she didn't want me to be sad. Disappointed. Yeah. yeah. And then we got a call from Pamela, and she said, do you want to play Duke? And I was like, yes, yes. So it was a lot of fun. How is Duke uh, different than you? For one thing, I will say our style is definitely not the same. I will say that much. But she also has a different way of thinking, if that makes sense. She does have a little bit of anxiety, which you can see in some episodes. You don't have anxiety? I don't have as much anxiety. I meditate if I get really anxious. My dad teaches me to meditate if I oh, need that's to so cool. prepare, calm down. How so, long have you been a med meditator? Uh, for pretty pretty much most of my life. My dad taught me since I was really young, if I ever, well, I'm still young, but yeah. since younger, if I was ever really nervous about something, to just meditate. So it's great for when I'm shooting or having interviews like this. Take a beat, relax. Take a beat, relax, breathe. breathe. <laughs> Oh, that's so great. I wish my parents had taught me that yeah. when I was younger. And a lot of people, I feel, think meditating, you have to, like, cross your legs and go home. Which, I mean, if you're into that, go ahead. But it's not necessarily that. It's It can be relaxing your mind and going to a happy place and just imagining that you're protected and loved. Finding a space to center yourself and sort of exactly. shut everything off, shut the noise off a little exactly. bit. Exactly. Yeah. So now you are four seasons in. You're on your fourth season of playing Duke. How has she changed over the course of the show? Uh, and how have you been along for that? How has it felt like to, how's, what has it felt like to change with a character? It's, it, it kind of feels like two lives. And since I'm growing as Duke's growing, every single season I have to tackle her with a new perspective. So Whenever I hear we're getting picked up for another season, I'm like, oh, I can't wait for the scripts. I can't wait for the scripts. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm waiting. They're like, here are the scripts. I'm like, oh, yes. And I like, go through them. And there's always a moment where I go, oh, where I see something that Duke d does. And I always have like an oh moment because it's something that I haven't seen her do before. What's been the hardest thing that Duke has done? The hardest thing that Duke has done? Well... I will say that some of the relationships with Duke and her sisters can go on and off. So in one episode, Duke can have a great relationship with her sister. They can be happy together. And another one, they can be, like, screaming at each other. So I feel like that's one thing that's been kind of hard, going from, like, really hating the sisters to being in a good place with them. How do you guys navigate that, you and the other actresses playing the sisters? I mean, it's a lot of fun. We are like another family, so there's nothing embarrassing between us. So we rehearse the lines a lot of times. We try a different, try a different few takes and a different few ways to do it. So that's usually how we find the one, the one scene. Um, you just said that there's a, it, it feels like a family. There is a very intimate way that it's shot, and it really does feel like you are watching a family, like a real family at times. How did you guys create that, and did it feel like that immediately when you first started shooting the show? Yeah, we kind of just clicked when we all met. It really did feel like we were all sisters. And the show is very raw and very real. So I feel like that's why a lot of people can relate to it. And what has it been like working with Pamela? Have you become friends? Do you hang out now? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, we do hang out now. She is such a fun time. She, I always say she's like a superhero. I mean, she stars, she directs, she, write, she writes, she produces. I don't know how she does it all. But just to watch her work and to have her like a mentor, it's incredible. And I'm learning from all the women, Celia, Emery, Rebecca Metz, Elisa Rhino, like she, they're all incredible women. Yeah. Um, at the end of the first episode of this season, you deliver a beautiful monologue to a recently broken-hearted adult man. Uh, what was it like delivering a monologue like that? It is so wise, and I don't think any adult would even say those things. Duke has had a few monologues that are very deep. She's very wise, and it comes out of nowhere. Like, it comes out of absolutely nowhere. Have you ever asked where it comes from or tried to think about where it might come from? 
So for this particular monologue, I believe, in my mind, it came from since her parents went through divorce, people were always telling her those things. You're going to get through this. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be that bad. You're still going to see him a lot. And I think she kind of just took what she felt and told him. And by the way, that was such a fun scene to film. Uh, everyone was kind of everyone was crying. It was so much fun. Well, you have a great line in that scene, which is that the next one will be better because you will have become a better person. Mm -hmm. Which I don't think I've any any ever heard anybody articulate uh, <laughs> the sort of best wisdom possible for a person going through a breakup. Are you even aware of how much wisdom is in that line? I when I get the scripts, if there's any some, anything that's ever very deep, like it's a very deep line, I read through it a lot of times. I'm like, oh, okay, all right. And then I try diff a few different ways, and I sometimes go up to Pamela and say, hey, so what do you mean by this line? Like, what is she saying? And sometimes she'll say, well, she means that with the more experience you get, that that's more experience or whatever the line is. Do you find that, because uh, Pamela Adlon has three daughters as well, right, in real life, mm -hmm. that she's uh, often writing to your strengths or she's writing things that her daughters have done? And, and, and have you met her daughters? Yeah, 100%. I've met her daughters. I've hung out with I've hung out with their daughters before. And what's really cool is the daughters picked, uh, hand-picked us, which was really, really cool. Yeah, it was really cool to meet Rocky, uh, the girl that Dara I play. And that Duke is based off of? Mm -hmm. Wow, she handpicked you. Yeah, yeah. What did that feel like to meet somebody who, cho who chose you like that? It was so cool. I was like, hi, I get to play you. I'm so happy. I was, I was, that was the first time I met her. I was so happy. Do you feel like you and Rocky are similar and that's why she picked you or are we, you different people? Uh, we are really similar in, to certain extents. We are really similar. In what way? Uh, for one thing, we're both very creative. And when we when we hang out, we kind of just click, if that makes sense. Yeah. So uh, at the beginning of this, I asked how you started, and I meant the show, but I am curious, how did you start acting? <laughs> it's a very fun story. <laughs> so I was about two or three, and I was in my parents' room, and a Gap Kids commercial came on. And my dad walked into, th into the room and said, and I said, why am I not there? And he was like, why are you not where? And I pointed at the TV, I was like, there. And he's like, can you play with the kids? And I was like, no, why am I not like there like I like I want to be there and he was like good question and that's just kind of how it all started and they and they kind of knew from a pretty um young age that I was going to want to be very creative because I would just sing these hour songs of gibberish around the house that no one understood you're very performative yes are you still very performative in private now that you actually perform for for work as well yeah 100 percent. i i still love to sing and dance and it's fun to uh create new things while being on the show where uh do you hope duke goes next i hope that duke continues to experience all of life's wonders she's so wise and i think Every, since every season we see a different side of her, I can't wait to see which side I see next. You know, it's rare that a, a character that is your age um, is portrayed with such depth and is written with such depth. What is it like to sort of give life to a person your age on screen? What do you mean by that? Well, I mean that uh, usually it's one-dimensional, it's a family show, it's rare that they're suffering from anxiety like you're talking about. What is it like to sort of represent people your age in a, in a way that has more depth? It does make me work on Duke's character and think about Duke as a whole more because to at first look, she's, you know, she's the baby. That's what you saw in season one. Most people thought, oh, she's a baby. She sticks up for her mom. But you start to learn, oh, she's intuitive. She's wise. She has fun relationships with her sisters. She can sometimes be very anxious, as you see her go many times with her mom. Where did that come from, the, the thing? That's something that Pamela just does. That's something Pamela does, and then we added it into the script and I was like oh this is cool and it kind of just became a toy 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 became your own uh your own, own your own thing that superstition yeah yeah you know one of my favorite episodes of the uh of the show entirely is the funeral episode where they stage a funeral for Pamela oh, Adlon's yeah, character um so beautiful what was it like doing that episode it was insanely fun yeah. the light just to say the lighting in that room was kind of set the tone for the entire scene and it was another one of those scenes where everyone was kind of like really sad and really into it. And then at the end, because they said, just lie down at the very last moment, pop up and just say, nobody said anything about me. I'm laying here dead and nobody cares. And it was, and then 
the actu actually the end of that scene was all improv. Really? Where they all come over and they all go around Duke. That was all improv and it was so much fun. Do you get to improvise a lot on the show? 100%. Pe uh, sent. Pamela likes to keep it very real and raw and relatable and pure. So there are certain scenes where she won't tell us what will happen. She's done that in the past. And then there are other scenes where she just wants to get our pure reaction. She, do she doesn't want something that's over-rehearsed. So what is that like? Were you used to that? Were you comfortable with that immediately, improvising? I am a very big fan of improv because it gets what's natural and it gets a pure reaction. And that's exactly what Pamela's going for. Right. Um, well, uh, I love the show, Olivia, and I think you do amazing work on it. I think everybody does. It's on FX. What night is it on FX? Thursday nights at 10. Thursday nights at 10. Uh, Olivia, it's been so nice talking to you. Thank you so much for being here. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, we'll do a uh, fist, uh, elbow yeah, bump. There we go. There we go. Oh. <laughs>